Back to Imperial Raxus Prime. <clears throat> this next area can be pretty fucking hard if you try to kill everybody. You start way up top. There's a whole bunch of guys down below. There's a couple barrels here. I'd recommend trying to just throw them down there, hit some of the stormtroopers. And there's a whole bunch of purge troopers, a whole bunch of snipers, and um, after the big gates open, a couple more purge troopers come out and a big old ATS team. So you got your work cut out for you. Yeah, you really do got your work cut out for you. You need to get good at using the stormtroopers as lightning grenades, and you need to get good at avoiding those sniper shots, which I am not right there. You gotta get good at knocking those th uh, purge troopers on their asses and avoiding their uh, magic missiles that they throw at you. Because those things do a lot of damage and when they knock you on your ass you're uh, very susceptible to getting hit by two or three more of them and just ending your run right away. Is there an order that you should be getting the Sith holocrons? Whatever you like really. Um, the one up top is invincibility and then that that first one that I grabbed down below was a damaged increased. I would uh, use that damage increased and try to take out as many of the purge troopers as you can and then save the other ones for when the ATST comes out. Alright. Yep. Oh, and for anybody that thinks that the ATATs are called at hats, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> There was a guy, one of Cooper's friends came in, and I was playing this game and he was watching. Mm -hmm. he, he called the two-legged one an, an at-at. Now, uh, confusing you with an ATST, that's acceptable, but calling it an at-at, <laughs> you're a fucking... I, uh, I've never heard that until just now. Really? You've never heard anybody accidentally call them at-ats? No. Oh my god. What do they call the other ones? I don't Ats. know. Ats. I, I was so like thrown off by him calling it an, an AT, and and he called it an at at, and I was just thrown off by that. That like I I didn't even want him to get into correcting him about that it's actually an ATS. These she didn't even say anything. No, I just like yep, yep. They're a pain in the ass to take out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Good old at ads. Now at this point, if you want, you can just skip all these guys and go running for the exit. But I decided to take out, ooh, take out the at at. Yeah, it's weird that you'd be a big enough nerd to know that it's a at at. Or SD, or whatever. Right. Yeah. But then the fact that you mispronounce it. Mm -hmm. When he gets down to about uh, a quarter of his life left, it triggers the uh, the option to do a push God button war. sequence. Right. The quick time event, I believe, is the correct name for it. And you might have noticed that a second ago. When I was behind him, it didn't give me the option to do that. You have to be in front of him to trigger the sequence right here. God damn. Those fucking magic missiles fuck you up. Magic missiles, though. Mm hmm. Booyakasha! Body slam me. <laughs> he body slam me. You know, if you want to go off on a little rant about uh, doing research for your games yeah. and about how that's completely not necessary, I did watch all three of the original Star Wars movies before recording this guide yeah. and before doing all the voiceovers. So I guess that's a little bit of research. Yeah. Not really the same thing, but... Mm -hmm. And you plan on doing a guide for this? 
Oh, yeah, that was when I started playing through the game the first time. I watched all the movies. Yeah. I, uh... They're good. Yeah. They're so good. I agree. And it's a shame what the franchise has turned into. Well, well not ashamed. I mean, it's... Some of the directions they've decided to take it are reprehensible. <laughs> but uh, this game or the other movies, or like the CG piece both. of crap that came out this year, all of the above. Uh. Hmm. Well, would you rather let like just let the old ones be, or keep working off the same? story, because, I mean, obviously you're not going to duplicate the first ones. Right. The 1970s. Right, but... <clears throat> it's just... No. I don't think that I should have just been left alone. For financial reasons, in terms of a business and, you know, IP. Mm -hmm. But they did it so poorly that I wish that they had so artistically artistically they should have left it alone Ar artistically they should have they, sh they should have brought someone else with some fresh ideas into it it's like kind of like how the batman franchise has been mm. reborn yeah you know you know 70s batman compared to today's batman mm -hmm. that's kind of you know the reverse of that is kind of what star wars is now you know pow and zoink and zap and <laughs> yeah that nonsense. Yeah, I think it's good to freshen it up. <laughs>